Hi, this is Don McAllister, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. Well, I'm safely back from the Macmania 9 trip, but as you can probably hear, I've come back with a bit of a bug, a bit of a cold. Um, fortunately, I picked up something probably the last day or so of the trip, and uh, it gave me a heavy head cold or, or flu symptoms. Now, I've been advised it's not the swine flu, but still, it knocked me out for a couple of days, and I'm still a little bit, as we say over here in the UK, bunged up. So uh, I hope it doesn't... Uh, detract too much from enjoyment of this week's show. I hope you had the chance to follow the trip via the iWeb website I set up as I mentioned in the show before I left. Now despite the difficulties of sporadic internet access, I was able to post several blog entries, some photos, videos and some audio posts during the trip using several different services. And as I promised in the last show, this week I'm going to take a look at iWeb and also some of the external services I use to update the website. Now, I have covered iWeb before, way back in episode 73, and as usual, if you're new to iWeb, it might be worth checking out that show to get a grounding in some of the basics. For this week's show, though, I'll split it into two parts. In the first part of the show, I'll take a look at some of the brand new features introduced in iWeb 09, and some of the new features are pretty significant, and address quite a few of the failings from the original version. In the second part of the show, I'll take you through how I created the actual iWeb site for the trip and how I integrated the different services into it. Now, in case you didn't see the website, this is the website I'll be going through uh, later on in the show. It's a standard uh, iWeb website that I've published. You can actually find it at screencastonline.com slash macmania09. And basically, it's a number of pages, uh, an opening page here with a couple of widgets. And we'll have a look at some of these widgets as we go through the, uh, the tutorial. Um, there's also a videos and photos page. Now, this is just a blank page that I've added some mobile me galleries into and also some YouTube videos. Um, there's a blog page, which is not a standard iWeb blog page, but again, I'll show you that later. I've used a separate application to do a real-time blog using the iPhone and then a page for audio booths, which are some audio recordings. Um, again, not standard in iWeb, but you can integrate them into iWeb quite easily using some of the new widgets that there are. Um, so we'll have a look through that later. Um, just probably worth saying at this point, the, the iPhone 3GS was fantastic while I was away. Uh, really did enable me to capture lots of content. And that included videos, photos, and also audio clips. But first off, let's take a quick look at some of the new features within iWeb 09. 